a few of the little accomplishments that would have look at the grace of God has led us to achieve. Most of what I believe I'm going to share here are things that you may have already, you know, uh, uh, published, or some others you may not have because you know that I'm known. But just to say, for example, that we've been, you know, quite familiar as a ministry in terms of the kinds of things we try to do in place. And we think that, you know, um, with a lot of grief, as they say in sports, that we are where we are. So this is the text of the first vision that is in the journal and the Minister of Sports Development at the media center of the Kofi Agula National Stadium, Abuja, March 26, 2024. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, of the press on the invitation from my office. The strategic, this strategic media engagement is the central plan of the hands on approach to the administration and development of sports under my leadership and guidance as minister. The middle trust of this administration is to a periodic basis inform Nigerians about happenings and developments. It is critically important sectors it unfolds. It is my sincere belief that this is the right approach to employ in the unfolding 21st century, in which information and its distribution is so critical and crucial to the progress of the society. As all of you are aware, countries have less just returned from Accra, Ghana, where we participated in a highly competitive tournament, the 13 African Games, Ghana. During this two week sports fiesta, 54 African countries competed for medal honors in traditional sports. Out of which Nigeria participated in 25 of them. I'm happy to report back to you that we had an outstanding performance at the Games, coming second only to Egypt on the medals table. In all, our country meet the total number of 121 medals composed of 47 gold medals, 33 silver and 41 bronze medals. In Nigeria, we won the world best team in athletics with 11 gold medals, 6 silver medals and 4 bronze medals. Nigeria's Gina Cheron first band band lead set a new world record in the Gambian event at the game to the draw 82.18 meters, defeating the previous world champion in the process. Team Nigeria emerged overall best in boxing on the continent with a total of 8 gold medals and 2 silver medals. Nigeria's Molora Ogun Makinju put up an impressive performance in the 4x4 mix today by running our opponent in the final leg of the event to win a gold medal for the country. The race was the top of the day. Sweden and Han won one medals, which were not won for decades. Part of the strategy was set to record success in the competition. With the set up of the ministerial product performance team, headed by Professor Ken and Nubeje, of the High Performance Center in Port Harcourt. The team was set up to handle training, local management, amongst other professional management details that live athletes in peak form. The team went back and forth with coaches and members of the technical crew of various divisions. Believe me, when I state that all things that complied with the plan came first, this includes wrestling, boxing, athletics, and weightlifting. I am pleased to announce that six wrestlers have qualified for the Olympics in Paris, namely Anna Ruben, Blessy, Uboro Dudu, Christiana Ogunsanga, Kola Wolyasta, and Adekoye. Furthermore, three boxers have qualified for Paris Olympics as well. For the duration of the competition, the indomitable Nigerian spirit was on full display. The world witnessed the Nigerian strength, resilience, and excellence. As a result of this, that's the performance that gave President His Excellency, as well as the Ahmed Chinubu, GCFR, and indeed the Nigerian people, are thankful to our gallant partners for their hard work, sacrifice, and collecting efforts with a difference. Nigeria's heroics and achievements at the Games would not have been possible without the full support of our sports-loving president.
frequently implement, we not only contribute significantly to our grassroots product, gross domestic product GDP, it will unleash a new crop of talents, create employment for millions of Nigerians, and lead to the emergence of a huge sports industry that will be the end of Africa and the world. In order to achieve this lofty objective, we need the support of the media, political stakeholders, and the support of sports clubbing citizens. Let me also mention, I mean, the fact that um, when I received the outlet when it came back, we had said that what we're going to try to do is to, other than continue to spend so quickly on competition, that we'll try to see how we can be spending more and more for preparations and for development. We also said that I looked at the statistics and the data from when the African Games started to when we hosted and to the present. I mean, Egypt has almost consistently been top of the medals table. We're looking at those spots, particularly in the last games, where Egypt had a huge advantage over Nigeria. And we're going to see how we can, you know, look at this and, you know, confirm this and see how, you know, our circumstances in the next games will be different from what it was now. But let me end this by thanking all of you, you know, for you know, the support and for the reporting that we got out of these games. And let me continue to say that what we have remains work in progress. There is certainly an atmosphere within the sports ministry and the sports sector, an atmosphere of openness, of transparency, of building trust, of building confidence. We do hope that at the end of the day, as we continue to read more and more, that this winning and these big things will be contributing to you know, more liveliness and happiness and excitement amongst Nigerians and we will continue to unite and compete more and more. I thank you again. Thank you very much. You know, to make some comments and to share some information. And I don't think, you know, this forum to be a forum of that. Um, and then there's the challenge of infrastructure, which was an accompanying question, whether the country had the infrastructure. Of course, if Nigeria were to hold the 2030 Commonwealth Games, that would be about six years away. And Nigeria is not the kind of country that would not have the infrastructure to host the Games. When I spoke in Accra, I remember the audience that we had hosted the African Games as far back as 2003. And we had hosted Chogom as well, you know, to this Commonwealth, you know, and the heads of government meetings and all of that. You know, so I don't think, while we have in the challenge of infrastructure as a continuing problem for now, I'm not sure that in itself will ever have been a problem or will ever be a problem for which to host the Commonwealth Games. Um, the next question is the preparations by Egypt. You know, the question was whether we're going to start our preparations immediately. I've already sounded that note. I've sounded that note. So the answer is yes. In every day of this job, we more and more experience that I get. I also learn more and more. The more I learn, I believe that the more I do better or get better and the more the sports sector will continue to do better. You know, so from the experience of Accra and many other experiences so far, what I find out is that there is no, nothing better than any preparations. And I can say this to you right away, that um, at the same time, there are a few things that are taking place under me as minister that people who have been in this sector I'm trying to give an impression as if, you know, those were the records that were being said. And I'm, I'm wondering, problems will not happen in this sector because of the reason that the ministry is either sitting on front or shortening adverts. We don't even have enough for them. If I have my way, I'm working on it every day for adverts to get more than we're currently doing. That's what I will do. And I've located somewhere 
that there's no reason why our actors do not be put on monthly stipends. There's no reason. Our top actors have won gold, about 33 have won silver, about 21 have won bronze. There's no reason why we can't do more for the athletes. These are competitions that are taking place abroad, internationally. International competitions where our currency is not a legal tender. So, and these are the, the quantity of money involved, no matter how you want to look at it, is not the kind of money that plays for goodness sake. Um, the last question is looking for I will look forward to President Winston. Um, you know, I'm not too sure. Not because the President is less grateful. No. Not because, you know, the athletes that have won these medals are as well. We're we talking about all of that. But what I can assure you is that if there's anything more that needs to be done beyond the welcoming that I went and did, beyond the allowances, beyond the winning policies, to give this set of outlets a greater sense of belonging, this minister would do so. In general, for whatever outcomes that we get, seven months, you know, and some little bit of more days, you know, like I said, you know, earlier on, as I get more and more experienced, you know, it teaches me what and what I need to do. And we're working at the moment, we're working on a template, a template for the election of the next federation leaderships. And there will be reason. And I'm, I'm looking at, I'm trying to understand that reason. Federation after federation. You know, so we're working hard on this, and you can be sure that, um, and I've seen the digital presidents that are doing tremendously well. I've seen some others that are not. And they got funding from the ministry, and, you know, as well as other people. Um, where are we on broader case? You know, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this one thing. Do the just that? In here, with us since about 2018, you know, when Nigeria suffered, you know, a ban and all of that, to formally present to FED the water bill. It hadn't gone to FED before. There were issues about, you know, the staffing of the National Anti Doping Committee, which we presently have in the Ministry of Sports. I mean, I was able to get the head of service to approve staffing and deployment and all of that. That accumulated. And we're going to get banned at some point late last year. And we tried, you know, to be very good at it. If we didn't make the move that we did, we'd be very difficult. Understand why that ban had come, Nigeria would not have gone to have come. And you can imagine how bad it would have been for the country. So we declared a dispute, and then it gave us time. After we declared that dispute, we continued updating, you know, the work progress that we're making. Unfortunately, the bill that went to FED wasn't immediately approved to present to the National Assembly. The other got sent to the Office of the Attorney General, because I think government was also concerned with the creation of additional agencies and all. We said to WADA, and we've talked about twice or thrice, and WADA has rejected because WADA insists that there are certain aspects of that bill that must still be retained. You know, what I can report is that in the last engagement I had with the Attorney General a few days ago, last week, uh, you know, with the Solicitor General, we all came to a conclusion that the next version of the bill has to be as close as possible. And that has come, we sent it to Rada, that was about yesterday, and hoping to get a feedback so we can make progress. But beyond the deal, you know, there are other issues, for example, that we are working hard on, 
But I mean, two weeks ago, you know, we were formally notified that Wada had approached CAS. CAS is called to application in sports. So, you know, we also, you know, within some days, we worked with the Office of the Attorney General to nominate an arbitrator. The exact same office advised us that we needed a council. And working with that office as well, we also nominated one. Um, we were able to get some dispensation from CAS to allow us to the end of this month to be able to file our own case. You know, some days to file, some days to respond. So, so that is going on. But having said so, you know, progress on updating the progress we are making is still continuing. Our greatest hope is that before the case is called by CAS, we we'll have done such such, such progress as to get Wada, you know, to be able to, you know, sign us up and say so we'll be able to comply. In response to the latest edition of the bill that has gone to it, so it does, and we'll take it back to Fed, and it goes to the National Assembly, that will be significant progress. But what I can assure is that we're working very hard on this, and hopefully we'll be able to get out of the hook of weather, you know, for the first time in how many years. So I thank you.